Energy consumption is the most important factor uh, for greenhouse gas emissions accounting because this is what we're counting. It's the energy being consumed in buildings, on roads, or in uh, transportation modes, in industries. What we're really counting is the types of fuels, uh, so natural gas or gasoline in our cars or diesel in our cars, buses, etc or the electricity, and depending on the provincial generation of electricity, the electricity mix is really a mix of all the fuels. There could be hydro and renewables, so that's really not contributing to any of the emissions, but that's why energy is important, because consumption could be reduced, and that's when we try to reduce the demand for energy. An ECDM plan is an energy conservation and demand management plan. It's required by Ontario Regulation 507-18. It was first introduced in 2012 as a means to help municipalities, school boards, hospitals and universities, upper tier education sectors, control, identify and reduce their energy and greenhouse gas emissions. So the Energy Conservation Demand Management Plan includes modeling, modeling of the type of reduction and in the different sectors within our organization that need to happen in order to meet a 50% reduction by 2030 from our 2011 levels. The City of Waterloo had a goal of a 6% greenhouse gas emission reduction by the year 2020 relative to 2011 levels. The City achieved that through two means. One was through energy efficient projects that the City implemented at its facilities and buildings such as LED lighting and more efficient mechanical and electrical equipment that provides heating, cooling and ventilation. The second part is the cleaning of Ontario's electricity grid. In 2003, the Ontario Provincial Government mandated a phase-out of coal-fired generating stations by 2014. They achieved that. This drastically reduced the amount of carbon in Ontario's electricity grid. In 2013, we had an audit and we looked at trying to reduce our carbon footprint and trying to cut down on energy consumption. We have about 8,000 Coverhead streetlights and 1,600 decorative streetlights in the city. Prior to 2013, um, the technology for LED wasn't that efficient. Like we looked in 2006 initially, and the cost of the fixtures and the efficiency of the fixtures wasn't, wasn't there at the time, so that's why it kind of got pushed out. So we were trying to time when to switch so in 2016, we received an estimate to convert the almost 8,000 HPS Cobra Head street lights, and that estimate came in at approximately three and a half million dollars. At the end of June in 2018, when the conversion was finished, the actual cost came in at 2.3 million. So a substantial cost savings. The City of Waterloo cannot control the carbon content of the Ontario electricity grid, so it is up to the City of Waterloo to implement more energy efficiency projects and come up with strategies to make our greenhouse gas emissions as largely independent of the Ontario grid as possible to mitigate any future increase in carbon content of the Ontario electricity grid. Moving forward, the City of Waterloo will continue to build new buildings and retrofit existing buildings to the highest energy efficiency standards possible. This will greatly reduce greenhouse gas emissions, utility costs and energy consumption.